The best Terran in the world is back and his name is Casper the Ghost. The Mass Goes to Gym Challenge currently sitting at 4,856 MMR. Let's see if we can add some more MMR to that. Ooh, first game of the day, a 5k Zerg. Nice. All right. I feel like we've played so much Protoss recently and I don't actually remember if we ever played a Zerg that was this high MMR with the Ghost Challenge. That's going to be very fun. Um, yeah, I actually don't even remember. The last episode... Did we actually only play against Protoss? I really feel like we've played against Protoss only for like a few episodes, but I might be mistaken. Maybe we just had a nice streak going that was broken at some point, but yeah. So against Zerg. Like, I, I feel like it's been so long, I'm not, I'm not even sure quite what I want to do. Uh, normally I went for the eBay block, which was really good. I'm not going to do that this time. Um, first of all, I was already too late to do it when I said it, but also this map is pretty large. And if there's one thing, guys, you don't want to do against Zerg, trust me is block their natural on the map where they can take the gold because then uh, yeah you, you might uh, actually help them out a little bit that way but, like this is also a thing for Pro if protoss players play against zerg especially and they block their natural maps like this it's probably only, co only counterproductive because they're gonna take the gold instead uh, which is even better for them obviously uh, zerg is definitely the best race when it comes to taking gold bases so that is a little bit scary uh, his name was elijah don't think i've played against him before now, since it's a big map, I definitely want to go for a macro approach for this first game. So, kind of go for like, a, lot of a lot of nukes, you know. Um, probably not get Cloak too early, but obviously it does depend on what we scout. Like, if he does go for any kind of Roach aggression or whatever, or Ling aggression even, we could get Cloak early and uh, defend it like that. I'm still curious, by the way. I haven't really played against the Roach on, uh, on my main account yet, but I'm still curious if the freaking um what was it called the uh making a ghost academy reactively to a rochelin uh, is actually a good hold you know like i would i would freaking love it if that was the case now i really doubt this guy is gonna rochelin me on this map to be fair but uh you never know now this time i actually did a different build so i went gas first but then made the cc before the ghost academy because you're like a little bit low on gas anyway and maybe this is actually the best way to do it not sure if I can get a depot out. Yeah, the depot is going to be... That's probably a little bit too much. Or maybe I can even add a second gas before getting a ghost here. Now, he did go for a hatch first. I'd probably like to stick around with this. Like, normally you have a reaper to check out if there's a third base or not, right? Uh, but with this challenge, I obviously only have ghost. Now, I do have to say, guys, I'm getting a lot of comments that um, suggest me to make new units and stuff. But, and I appreciate it, by the way. Of course, I read all the comments and I love the suggestions. But I just want to be clear that I'm sticking to the challenge 100%. So unless I lose MMR two episodes in a row, I am sticking to phase one completely determined. And I will literally only make ghosts and nothing else. And I think so far... Well, actually, there might not even have been an episode where we lost MMR. I remember we had an episode where we went 2-2. But I'm pretty sure we won like 3 MMR or something in that one. So... Uh, so far we're still clean, I think. Let's see. I think you need the four hits. Here we go, please. Let's go. Oh, beautiful timing, guys. We're the best. If you do enjoy all these challenges, by the way, the ghost stuff. I also have a bunch of other challenges. Cheese to a good master. Penguin Brothers. Bone Cloud. Make sure to check it all out. And make sure to subscribe to the channel as well so you don't miss out any more challenges. Um, I also have a lot more cool ideas to come. I'm doing some more solo episodes. I want to do some solo 4v4s. Maybe like some actual 1v2s, 1v4s without using my teammates' money. Stuff like that. So, uh, obviously, what you guys want to see, make sure to comment it, suggest it to me. Um, and then subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't actually miss out on your own suggestion. If it does happen. Now, I'm a little bit scared because I haven't scouted at all. I haven't scouted a third base. Um, and I haven't made a bunker yet. I'm just chilling on a third CC. I'm always, pl I'm, I feel like I'm playing this game as, this, as if this is a normal TVZ build I'm doing, which I would love it if it became meta, but I definitely don't think we're at that point yet. I still has no third base, guys. Um, unless he took like my gold or something. Let's see, there's a third here. There's also no third. This, this guy is probably just terrified of my ghost, I guess, um, because he did scout them. I'm not sure if he has to be terrified. I think it'd be so... F Guys, is this the legendary two-base muta game, maybe? Where he goes for like 10 mutas and he gets them all sniped instantly. That would truly be peak. Peak StarCraft. Uh, if it's a Nidus, we might actually be in trouble, you know? But if it's like just mutas... Okay, so he's taking a third... This is looking good, guys. Um, if you go for two-base muta, you would always take a third base late. If you go for a Nidus, 
you would typically not even make a third base because you're going all in, right? So the fact that he's making that really makes me think this could be Mutalisks. Now, I also haven't seen any Zergling sound on the map this game, I believe. Maybe a few on his base or something. Now, I'm definitely going to go for... I could actually go for a triple nuke right off the bat here, I think. Because nothing has really happened so far. I'm not sure how I'm going to get a ghost in his main without a starport now. Maybe the play with this challenge is just to proxy a starport simply. Why would I even make that in my main? It doesn't even really make sense, right? If you think about it. Um, and then I'm going to make three nukes at once. I'll put the starport like here or something. Or maybe even further so he actually never finds it. There we go. Now, I haven't seen Mutas fly across the map yet. Like, I have six ghosts. With two base Muta, typically, you pump out nine Mutas with the first wave, I think. So I would be able to cut that more than in half already, uh, if they do show up. Now, it could still be anything. You could literally be making Swarmost or Lurkers or... Uh, at this point, we're not even sure. Now, that is an Overseer. That's going to be a bit annoying. I'm going to use one Ghost to kill it. So he doesn't see that I literally only have Ghost. I'm going to make an eBay as well. How much HP does an Overseer have? I actually don't even know. Is it also 200? Like an Overlord? Uh, yeah, it is also 200. Okay. But now he's going to see my stuff. He, yeah, he's going to see the tech lab. So then he knows. I'm still hiding my Ghost. Bam. Okay, there we go. Wait, an Overseer has more armor than an Overlord, apparently. Didn't even know that. Oh, it is Roaches. He's just, he's just, he's just mass Roaches. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have to wall this off. Wait, guys. There's absolutely no way this works. Oh, there's a little bit of a gap here. Okay. Um, yeah, if this works, I swear. There's absolutely... Guys. No way! <laughs> there's absolutely no way! <laughs> Guys. Guys, I have absolutely peaked. I'm sorry. I think I think I think Starcraft is over after this. Like we we have we literally just finished the game. Oh no no, <laughs> poor guy. He was sitting there on two bases. Oh man, I can feel my heart rate go crazy. He was sitting there on two bases making roaches for six minutes just for like one 500 million IQ nuke <laughs> to end the streams in one go. Oh my god, I can't believe that just happened, guys. We have literally just peaked. Oh man, jeez, what am I gonna do? Well, now I'm gonna go for the triple nuke, I guess. I, I feel like this is an up this is a game where I might as well for go for upgrades as well. Like now we actually have a nice um, game going against Zerg. It would be nice to go for some upgrades as well. Like against Protoss and Terran, I think the upgrades really don't matter. Like maybe, if anything, um, you get your armor upgrades, right? Or maybe like your or maybe against like Zealots you could use them, but against Zerg. Uh, I feel like it actually matters. Wait, I'm finally gonna do the trick and hold position my stuff before I go into his base because I just keep forgetting it somehow. Well, he does see it anyway. So that is probably gonna be a bit tough to make happen. Let's see, triple nuke. He does have a lot of roaches here. Uh, that is literally not gonna do anything though. Oh my goodness. Poor guy. Where's the nukes landing? Is one of them gonna land? Oh, this one's gonna land. There's roaches here. This one killed nothing. This one killed nothing. Wow, okay. I mean, hats off to this guy. I feel like he's the first person that actually responded to every nuke uh, when I did like a multiple one. So that is actually really well done by him. Obviously, he's still in a bit of a rough spot after uh, me killing like a million of his roaches. But we do have to, uh, you know, give credit where credit's due. He did spot all of those nukes. Oh, I probably should have save one of these guys at least. Um, yeah, let's decloak that and then maybe we can go in again later. Now, obviously, I'm not really in a hurry to do too much. I'm already starting to run low on gas a little bit, as usual. I do want to get some more nuke sites, so I think I'm just gonna skip ghost for a bit. Um, wait, guys, this could be gross. If he doesn't see this, this could actually be disgusting. Are you guys ready? Yes, we got all of the overseers. <laughs> Oh my god, this is the most disgusting game we have played. By far, guys. Legitimately by far. This is just... Everything about this game is just filthy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, he's making bailings though. Yeah, I think I'm gonna dip here, actually. Um, how many workers do I have? A hundred almost. Okay, uh, let's see. 
Okay. This could be rough. Let's see. Um, can I kill that last one? Okay, I mean, we did kill the last one, but we did lose a ton of ghosts for it. Obviously, I still have enough money and stuff here. Um, I wish I had, like, some PFs at the front here, though. Like, this area looks very exposed to me. See, there's too many workers here. I mean, he's gonna go there, but there's already a PF, so it really doesn't matter. Um, he's probably a bit annoyed, the fact that I already have that base. Uh, where I'm gonna... I wanna put a PF at the front here, maybe. Let's see. This is gonna be a planetary. Like, at this point, I just wanna secure the game 100%, you know, by just locking everything down. Like, I have five barracks making ghosts, which is already, as we know, a little bit... Oh, this is gonna be nice. A little bit too much. Oh my god. Against Roach is so satisfying. It's, it, I feel like it might be even better against Mutas. Or Ravagers and Mutas are the same. A Ravager and a Muta actually cost the same uh, amount of resources, I believe. Like 100, 100 each, I think. Whew. I still feel like I'm cooling down from that highlight we had at the start. Like that was, Did you guys recover yet? Like, oh my goodness. I think we, we actually may have just peaked. Now, I do have three nukes available. So this time, I feel like I should add another layer. And go for maybe an attack at the front as i do the nukes because this guy clearly has it in to respond to the three nukes at once but oh my god there's so many ghosts finishing but does he have it uh have what it takes well i am also attacking him oh no that's actually annoying okay that's a good scout by him i'm gonna snipe that okay now i'm gonna attack on the right side it's actually pretty scary to attack against the bailings right oh that's a lot of freaking uh stuff yeah i want to get out of there actually okay mm. actually i'm gonna put one here that's actually kind of sneaky no not sneak. wait what this actually looks like it's does is he gonna see that look at this one no way that is invisible oh no he didn't dude it looked so stealth for my pov how did he find that i mean i guess uh, i guess he did see that i dropped too um okay so I'm just gonna start spamming some nukes here anyway. And just try to get up to as many ghosts as possible. Like his army is good enough. And his awareness is also good enough. That he is managing to find my ghost. So what I want to do here is basically just... Um, make so many ghosts that it doesn't find if he... It doesn't matter if he finds my army. It sounds insane. But I think... Uh, I think my goal is reachable. Oh he's actually not finding that one. No he's actually not moving the drones here. These are both gonna hit. That is a lot of stuff. Oh, it's a big one. Let's go. I was going to say the, the first big one of the episode, but that is definitely not true. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to have to abandon this uh, and this as well. Um, actually, nuke this base as well while I'm at it. Let's see. Okay, this is going to be a bit tough to survive. Let's see if the splits are good. Okay, the splits are good. See if I can split these as well. Oh yes, we're getting on top of the Ravagers. That's what I'm talking about. Get this one split. Nice. I have so much money that I... Wait, did this one... Oh! I actually got a big hit with this one too. It has 43 kills. Wow. Wait, I want to see it. I want to see all of them. I feel like... A few episodes had really insane nukes that I didn't show. Now I want to show it. Yeah. This, this is our new record, I think. Right? 43 kills on one ghost. Now, guys... I have to go back to that moment and show it to you guys. Because that legitimately may have been the ultimate highlight so far. So this guy spent 6 minutes and 30 seconds working on his roach count. Getting his upgrades up. I want to see this from his POV. Okay. He hears a nuke. At this point he heard the nuke, right? He's checking his bases. He doesn't see it. He goes on the ramp. Oh my <laughs> He's looking at it too. <laughs> He looked at it as well. Wait, this was actually disgusting though. Look at this, guys. I I don't think... Like, he doesn't even see the dot. Because I'm pretty sure... Maybe... Oh, wait, he does see the dot. Okay, from his POV. Yeah, he never saw the dot. Look. Now it's already landing. He actually never saw the dot on his POV. That This actually looks... Like, just a random nuke out of nowhere without warning low down low of his army. Wow. I don't know if we're going to beat this one, guys. 2,600 resources nuked. But uh, it's, it's too short to call it a day yet, so let's play some more.
Oh, we got a, a 5.1 Protoss. Damn, they're not going easy on us today, guys. 5k Zerg, 5 on Protoss. Well, we are going back to normal with this Protoss player. Now, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm still absolutely buzzing with that last game, guys. The freaking nuke landing on the roaches. That I think it's made my entire day. I should probably just record like 25 episodes today because it can't go wrong anymore, right? <laughs> Imagine if I actually did that. I'd be like 7.2k with ghosts and you guys will be like, can I get 5k? <laughs> you know. Uh, that's never gonna happen but we are actually getting really close to 5k guys which is awesome i think we are 4.9k now um and that is already higher than i expected to get with phase one i am actually tell me if i'm crazy guys but i'm starting to think we can actually make it to gm with just phase one um i know we had some rough episodes i think we already have three or four losses or so but since we're almost 5k gm is about like 5.3 5.4 you can you guys can see what i mean right that is getting pretty close like could we act i feel like that would probably be the the sickest challenge finish yet on the channel if we actually made it um to gm with just ghosts like nothing else and i feel like that's also kind of a crazy thing to do because someone actually commented on my videos the i feel like it was already a, a few episodes ago um asking if it if it was even possible to get gm with like a single unit with some other units and it is really hard to think about units with which you could actually do that personally i think i could 100 percent do it with reapers i feel like the reapers would be the easiest one out of all the like only unit challenge and then ghost might be possible like i'm definitely starting to think it's possible uh, and even if we don't make it i think maybe with like some additional practice we could have if you know what i mean because we're like close enough at this point so i mean let me know what you guys think and uh, definitely after the last game, if you're not subscribed yet, make sure to hit subscribe, guys, because the highlights are just going to keep flowing in at this point. We have just been blessed by the ghost gods, by the real Casper. Um, now, oh, this guy is hit with a heavy eBay block. That guy is not making his thing anytime soon. Now, uh, he is stealing my gas, which is... That's actually going to be a little bit annoying, guys. Um, now I won't be able to afford cloak, you know? So I'm going to get my CC here and then my Ghost Academy. Like, it doesn't really make any sense if I did it before. I wonder if he, he realized that I was not making any units. Like, I feel like he probably didn't realize because that's just weird, you know. I feel like that's not something you pay attention to. So obviously, I'm going to make the Ghost Academy there to the right. He might arrive at my base with a big army. Yeah, he is on one base right now, guys. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna be a little bit tricky how can i defend a i i should i should have thought this through a little bit more like i'm not sure how i can defend like a reactive cheese and i'm only allowed to make ghost like he should definitely be proxying something at this point or maybe he already has it proxied uh oops i only did one scp there i'll just use this one so he took the base now i think or yeah he took the base now that is really good news for us okay. else it would have been really really hard now since he's taking the base i actually don't think I need to make a bunker just because I can snipe the adept very easily, right? Now, if I'm a god, I could finish this CC. Let's see if I'm actually that good at the game. Oh, no, his adept is already here, okay. I wanted to, like, use SCVs on two sides of the thing, you know? To, like, try and finish it. Okay. Well, that adept is gonna, is gonna die pretty soon, which is really nice. Um, let's see. I'm not sure where the adept is. There we go. Now it's dead. He's gonna try to kill the SCV. It's not gonna work, of course. Maybe I can RNG my way through? No. Unlucky. Ooh, ghost kill are pretty fast, actually. Not bad, ghosties. Okay, so we survived the early pressure. I do still have an SCV to get some scouting with. But yeah, now we're kind of running into the problem here. Um, oh. Are we the gods? No, he's running away. Okay. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't afford cloak. That is a really big problem here. Without cloak, I'm just not sure what I would really do here. Now, he's making a... That's a battery, I believe, which is fine for us because that doesn't actually do anything. A battery, a robo. Oh man, if we had cloak, that would be so nice. Um, yeah, a problem is that ghosts don't kill this gas very fast, you know? Like, ghosts have pretty low DPS against stuff like that, so. Might actually just have to play 3cc and kind of hope. Like, I think against Zerg, I guess the Zerg, it looked really strong. Admittedly, we hit the fattest nuke of all time, so maybe the results were a little bit skewed, but against Zerg. It feels way better to play the 3cc version against Protoss, but I think we actually might not have an option here. I mean, I could EMP it as well to uh, hurry it up a little bit. Not sure if I like that, though. There we go. We're just going to do it. Um, 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to get Cloak for Nukes are gonna be so far away. This gas steel has actually just ruined me, guys. Uh, you guys can probably tell, but this gas steel has actually ruined my plans completely. And no one has done that against us yet, so that is uh, kind of an unexpected thing to have happen. Like, obviously, if you play builds like this, it, it, it's, trust me, it's definitely not the first thing I think of, like, uh, oh no, Castile is going to destroy my build, you know, <laughs> definitely not. I mean, maybe you guys are more used to it than I am, but I don't really play against Castiles a lot. I can tell you guys that much. I'm going to get my factory up. Obviously, actually, the factory doesn't matter where it's positioned at all. I might as well build it in the back of my base. Oh, that is a lot of units. Okay. I do not have cloak um, yet. That's going to be a bit rough. Yeah, if he has good micro, he can kill all of these pretty easily. Yeah, let's do one more EMP. Oh, I used for blink. I didn't even see the twilight, actually. Yeah, I, I, I'm excited the observer, but I just don't have cloak. Um, it's really owning me right now. I can't believe how hard I've been owned by a simple gas steel, guys. It's embarrassing. Well, it's not really, but it does suck. Especially after the highlight of game one. It would have been really nice if we could have got like an epic streak going. But uh, might not happen here. At this point, I don't even have a scan for an observer. Dude, how long does Cloak take? Oh my goodness. Okay, now he sees I have Cloak. I think I'm going to go for a counter attack, actually. I know it sounds crazy, but... I feel like we did make an epic comeback like, like this before. I don't forget this guy is 5.1k MMR. So his MMR is really high. And uh, yeah, it's definitely a very difficult game. I'm going to start a nuke here. Maybe a second Ghost Academy too. Let's see. Can we one shot that? Almost. Okay. Wait, there's another one? <laughs> The observer's coming back now, I saw it. Okay. I mean, pretty good trade still. And I bought so much time with this, right? Which is really nice. Our observer's faster than Ghost? I hope not. <laughs> Imagine. Okay, I'm gonna send out a second squad here. Um, and that, that, was, that was really good stuff. Like, we actually survived for a while now. Like, we, we looked like we might be dying there for a second. But now, um, a little bit more hopeful. And obviously... You know, his nexus was very late and stuff, so he's not in as good as an economic situation as he would normally be. Now, wait, I think it's actually better if I just go for the nuke option instead of the run by, to be honest. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, I mean, I just have to go now. Where's the observer? There's no observer here. Okay. Um, yeah. Wait, does he have this base too? I'm actually not sure. Yeah, there's an observer now, I think. He has multiple observers. Oh, he actually has a lot of money. Yeah, yeah, this guy has just owned us. I can't put it in your way. The, the gas steal just countered me too hard. Oh, wait, this is huge. Look at that nuke. Oh, my God. Five zealots as well. Okay. All right, then. I mean, I'm not going to be able to defend this attack, but... Um, what if that other nuke hits too? Does he have stuff left? No, I can't even target the freaking thing. All right, let's see if the nuke lands for the memes. No, it doesn't. All right, GG well played. And I guess... Um, I mean, I know the games against Protoss were going to be hard, but I guess we have found a new ultimate counter, to be honest, because the gas steal... Like, I, I think I just need to have to... I just need to prevent it. I need to take my gas before they take it, because I wasn't able to do anything. But you can see this guy is even on four bases. Um, I don't think his strategy is really good against mine, because he was playing very aggressive. And yeah, the ghosts don't trade well enough. But maybe if I had Cloak, the trades would have been okay. And then I can get my nukes going, etc. So who knows? Anyways, rough game after a beautiful game. Let's see what the last game has in store for us. All right, the last game is going to be against the Zerg as well. Nice. I actually had another idea against Protoss that I'm going to save for next time. Just to give you guys a little teaser. I was planning on trying um, doing a proxy ghost with an eBay block. And I don't know why, but it just sounds like it would work. I don't, that probably doesn't. I, I, you guys probably always thought pro gamers, man. They work. They work so smart. You know, they look at all the stats and they're they're so analytical. And then you guys started listening to me, and I'm like, this is probably really dumb, but it might work. <laughs> That's how pro gamers really work, guys. <laughs> now you know. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna eBay block this Zerg, uh, and maybe in the next episode, if we get a Protoss, which we probably will, because I'm getting so many, um, I'm definitely gonna try and get the eBay block proxy ghost up just to see if it works. 
Now this SCV, it's it's a it's a big map. I might just arrive barely too late actually. Oh, it's gonna be okay. I thought the hand should have been down at like 45 seconds or so. That's what the timing I remember. That's actually what someone in my comments wrote, I believe. Like 43 or 47 seconds, something like this. He hasn't even tried to take it, so this is obviously very suspect. Um but maybe. This is the Rochal in we always wanted, guys. Yeah, this, this, this looks like a pool first to me, 100%, because his drone came to take a hatch, but that was way too late. Now, let's see what he has in his base then. Um, there's no pool. Hmm, what is this then? Maybe he, he pulled the drone back to make like a late pool first? Like, I'm, I'm, trying, to, I'm trying to understand the timings here, because the pool was not really early. Um... So unless my timings are scrambled, like it, it felt like that is a hatch first pool, but without the hatch, if that makes sense. So maybe it was just a reactive pool first. Does that make sense? Or is there a freaking hatchery on my side of the map? That could also be uh, the case. That would be slightly less pleasant. Or well, then he would actually have no money at all, right? Because he uh, also has a hatchery there. Now... Um, nor I'm trying. I'm trying to also look at my money and the resources I have. This is the most important thing for me in Starcraft, really. I always want my bills to flow the best thing possible. Uh, recently, I've been trying some Immortal Gates of Fire, which is uh, one of the new promising upcoming strategy games, and I do the exact same thing. The, the only thing I cared about in that game for like the first, I would say, 50 games of playing, is just that my build flow, uh, the flow of my build was really good. You know, like perfect even. And now I'm trying to even fix my build for Protoss because I don't even think I could have fit the second gas in there looking at my money. Like I would have had to cut a lot of stuff to even fit a second gas in there and uh, to avoid the gas steal. So the only thing I could have done is just put an SCV on the gas so he couldn't take it, you know. But that also feels a little bit weird. Now against this guy, I think I'm definitely going to make a bunker. Um, I'm still going to play my 3cc stuff, but I just feel like I need a bunker most likely. Like I have no scout, his hatch is forward. Forward hatches are always scary by the way. If you play against Zergs that put their hatch forward, I feel like the chance that they're going to align you with something increases by like 30%. Like it's actually, it's pretty crazy. So I'm going to make a bunker probably just next to the CC. Like, normally you want to put your bunker strategically so you have enough space to put a tank behind it and stuff. But now I only have one unit and it's the ghost. And yeah, I, I can just put them on the high ground here anyway. So I might as well just put my buildings a bit clustered so they're better. There we go. Hoppa! There we go. I love it. Okay. And I got another ghost coming out too, which is going to snipe the first roach. Yes, guys. Is this the roach all we wanted all this time? <laughs> Three roaches are already dead. Let's go. This is beautiful. Okay. Um, oh, by the way, I want to clarify something which has nothing to do with the game. But I just said Hoppa. And for for some reason, you guys always ask me what the hell Hoppa means. Um, it's spelled H-O-P-P-A. And it's just something Dutch people say when you, like, manage to do something or uh, something like that, you know. It's like a very common cheer. When you, like, manage something or you execute something. Um, so yeah, if anyone was curious besides the people that commented, because I did respond to, I think, two of you guys, but now you know, and now you won't have to ask me what Hoppa means anymore. And now you also know why Harstam and Loco say it on their channels, because they are also Dutch. You're welcome, guys. The more you know, guys, wisdom with Thermi. Uh, wisdom with your Thermi. That should be, that should be a new show, actually. That sounds cool. But once again, our beautiful ghost opener absolutely dunks on a Roach player. Um, he did do more damage than normal. Like, I didn't actually get my ghost out that fast. Like, keep in mind, I definitely did not play the fastest ghost possible with this build. Um, I went for, like, the CC first and the Ghost Academy after, late second gas, etc. So, this was definitely not the best possible ghost defense against Roaches, but definitely good enough for me. Now, since he's probably not gonna all in me again, I can just focus on getting my macro stuff up. I did really like the proxy starports. I'm just gonna do that again, like, straight from the get-go. Uh, he's not gonna have a lair. Oh, he is gonna have a lair. Okay. Annoying. I can actually kite these pretty well. Look at this. I'm surprised he's chasing me because I can just... Do that. <laughs> like, ghosts are so good against Zerglings. Stop chasing me. He's gonna lose every single unit. <laughs> he hasn't even killed anything. This, this is getting a little bit painful for our guy over here. Um, and now I feel like I'm actually gonna go... Like, we're starting to perfect our build, you know? We're gonna get the proxy starport up. I'm gonna go for... 
A triple nuke? Oh, he's still going. Ghosts are still good, still as good against Zerglings as they were a little bit ago. Oh my, that even still survived. I actually feel bad for him that this ghost survived. 3 HP. I, I, if you ever watch this, I'm sorry, man. My apologies. Um, still has a... Dude, how many... What is the resources lost at this point? I've, have I actually lost a ghost this game? I feel like I always lose a ghost. Well, this time I'm not sure. Oh. I was really surprised by that lair timing, by the way. Like, that was really fast. Okay, I'm gonna go for the YOLO. Triple nuke instantly. I'm gonna skip my ghost for it. And just get a triple nuke plus the medevac right away. I am kind of scared to exit my base, I have to admit. Maybe still isn't... No. But, like, this is this is still not gonna work very well. Like, I... I oh, no, we lost the ghost. This guy really likes throwing his links into my freaking ghost. For some reason. There we go. <laughs> well, he has more roaches even. No, please kill it. Oh, that's literally 1 HP. No, 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 it wasn't. It was 4 HP. I lied to you guys. Um, okay, so he's backing off. I'm going to try the sneak. I'm doing the sneak, guys. I want this triple nuke. That's what I'm aiming for right now. I think I have enough ghosts. To, like, he, he lost so many units. I feel like there's no way that he has, like, a really good economy here, you know. So I think I'm totally fine doing this. Now, I did lose my first ghost. Maybe I even lost two or three. I'm not sure. That definitely uh, did kill something, at least. Even though it was still not great. Now, okay. So, I'm going to cloak them before. This is what I learned from you guys, by the way. Like, sometimes... Well, there's one thing you guys should know, right? Sometimes, it's easy to imagine pro gamers know every tip. But typically, pro gamers are just good at playing the game in general. Like, we, we have really good mechanics. And we have good decision making. But we really don't know, like, all the stats and all that, you know. Okay. Oh no, that's gonna be annoying. Yeah. Did he just has overseers ready? Like he's oh is this gonna work? This would be insane. Does he have queens? Guys! He's gonna try. He he might be over Oh no, he has roaches and ravagers. Oh, okay, unlucky. Yeah. I I do feel like today. Correct me if I'm wrong, but they could have been good against our nukes. And well maybe it's just that Zerg is just too good against the drops. Like if we're being honest. I think Zerg just has too easy time spotting Medivax. Um Well, I d that sounded like way more complaining than I meant it to be. I just mean like this strategy is probably not that good against Zerg because they have Overlords. Like this probably works better against Protoss. Um, but yeah, m maybe we should just give up on the drops against Zerg because both times there was literally an Overlord and I feel like they have to be blind not to see it. So uh, I'm actually a little bit afraid now because I did lose like all of my momentum basically. So yeah, I think I'm just going to forget about the starport idea. I'm just going to use these to scout at this point. I could get these out to another location. And let me finally kill that thing. That thing has been annoying for a while. Ooh, guys, this this might actually be rough, I think. Okay, I'm going to nuke this. That is my strategy. Um, let's see. Uh, this could, it's good. It could work. Like, it actually could, I think. Let's go. Let's go. Please. It's, it's going. There we go. <laughs> yes! Again! No freaking way! What are these nukes today, guys? Oh my freaking goodness! How is it possible? Jeez, man. Twice in one episode, guys. Can you believe it? Holy moly, dude. What a defense as well. Okay, so he did see that one. Maybe maybe he didn't, actually. What if I go from the top here and nuke this? And I'll just pretend it's this one that's doing the nuking? Well, he saw it anyway. But that was a really clutch defense, guys. Without that nuke, maybe we would have died. Oh, this one, it's close to landing. Are they both landing? It's, oh my Jesus. This one too? Yep, he's too late. <laughs> guys, this guy's being absolutely tortured by nukes right now. This is insanity. Uh, I want to make this a planetary. There we go. I don't know how many links there are out here. Um, yeah, there's a lot of links, but I think I have enough ghosts, to be honest. Like, ghosts are really good against links, yeah? But he's just gonna run by. This is not a great move by him. I think um, he pretty much just... Oh, this could be a scary surround. Okay, we got a lot of snipes off, though. And yeah, wait, there's, there's no overseer here. I just realized. Oh, oops. Oh my god, he lost everything before the overseers arrived. That is... I feel this has been the most painful loss of this guy's career. Like, it, it has to be, no? Like, this, this entire game has just been... Just just pure filth once again. Oh my goodness. <laughs> He's angry. It's okay. It happens, Pudgy. Don't worry about it. 
As long as you don't insult me too bad, I won't make fun of you for it. I do think if he survived those nukes and didn't like... Because this entire game has pretty much just been him inting into me, you know? Like, I don't think he got destroyed. Well, he did get owned by the nukes in the end. But I feel like for the most part, I won this game just because he was throwing stuff into me. Uh, over and over and over. Oh, oh, that's a pretty good move, actually. And this guy has not been playing a bad game. He just ate, like, three enormous nukes. And uh, that was his downfall. And yeah, he was inting all the time. Actually, thinking about it... This, uh, this game, I feel like it made the challenge look a little bit weak. Uh, because he was inting like so much the entire game. But still it felt like there was some potential there, you know what I mean? Like let's actually go back and look at the units lost of the first trade. Or the first few trades. So here I lost a bunch of SCVs, I guess. Wait, 281? Did I? I guess I cancelled something, right? Oh bro, I did an eBay block, okay. Stop, please. He's starting to annoy me. He's spamming me so hard. Just get over it. Look at this trade, for example. 281 resources lost. 1424. And then it's just going to keep going on as well. Let's see. At this point, after this link flood, it must have been insane. Look at the... Oh my, that's actually disgusting, now. Yeah, so here I lost one ghost for basically 2,000 resources in the last point. Then we hit three amazing nukes. Um, I want to look at that nuke when he attacked it one more time. I'm not going to drag it out and watch all of the nukes that landed. Because, you know, we got two enormous nukes on his side of the map. Uh, but the nuke when he attacked me was just insane. Uh, let's see. When was it? Oh, this was just... Like, look at his army. Like, this this was actually pretty scary. I had 14 ghosts. He had 70 links. Like, he had potential to win the game here. Let's look at it from his POV again. That's my favorite. Let's see. Oh, the nuke is right here on the eBay. You guys see it? There's where the red dot is. There we go. He sees the ghost too. Like, I feel like at this point, I saw it and it felt obvious. But he stayed. Oh, he's not looking. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, he didn't even see it until his army was just evaporated. That is disgusting. All right, guys. In this episode, we got some salt, which is always nice. But more importantly... We hit two of the most amazing nukes ever in this one episode. Uh, I feel like you guys can't help but like this video and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys for the next episode. Thank you very much, guys. Adios.